Hi, I'm Saul. I'm going to show you how to share data between two computers running sync theme. So here on this uh, Mac laptop computer, I don't have any folders or remote devices, i.e. other computers added. And here on the Mac desktop, which could be somebody else's computer somewhere else in the world, um, I already have a bunch of folders and remote devices or other computers set up. So I'm going to begin by connecting these two computers to each other now. Every computer running sync thing has a unique ID. You can see the ID by going to this actions menu, show ID. And you want to share this ID with the other person with whom you want to connect. So I'm going to copy that and then I can instant message it or email it to the other user and they can use it to add my computer as a remote device. So I just paste in the device of the Mac desktop, give it a name, I could call it, uh, well, I'm gonna call it Mac desktop. You just call it whatever you want. And there are lots of other options we're not gonna go into right now. I'm just gonna say save. Now, that's added this Mac desktop as a remote device to the Mac laptop. Now I'm gonna do the same thing in reverse by going show ID on the laptop, copying the unique ID, and then go over to the desktop and add it as a remote device. Now, this does actually happen automatically. Once you've added it on one system, it does like automatically pop up with a menu item saying, do you want to add a uh, Mac laptop to Mac desktop? But I'm not gonna wait for that to happen because the network discovery takes a little while to happen. I'm just gonna do it in both directions. So there we go. These computers are now connected to each other as remote devices. Now we're going to add the folder. So on the desktop I've got, slightly messily, my video data is just sitting on a folder in my desktop, but you know, some people are a bit messy with how they store their files, so it's fine. I'm going to add this folder to the shared folders and offer it as a shareable folder to the Mac laptop. So I'm going to give it a label. I'm going to say, um, say this video data relates to a project, project one video data and I don't need to worry about the unique ID, but I do need to put in the folder path. Now, this is a bit tricky for anybody not used to using the command line. You need to figure out, well, where on this computer, represented by the graphical user interface, is this video data file? So actually, you can see that on your Mac by going view, show path bar. And if you expand that, it shows you where on this hard disk is the video data folder and you can see if you just all you need to know about Macintosh uh, OS X at the moment at least is that Macintosh hard disk is represented in text as a slash which is basically top level directory so if I just move this so I can see what I'm doing I go slash which is equivalent to saying Macintosh hard disk and then I can type users and you can see that it automatically completes the path for me slash users slash user which is here's like little home icon slash desk top slash video data there we go and I want to share it with Mac laptop so I type, click the checkbox there save so that will probably after a little while it will generate a message that will pop up on the laptop these devices are now connected offering this folder to share so I'll go, yes, I want to add it. Now the beauty of sync thing is that I can actually choose where on my hard drive I want that video data folder to be. I'm not on my laptop as messy as I am on the desktop, so I'm gonna put it somewhere more sensible. Um, and I've already prepared a place for it. If I look on my hard disk, if I go to my documents folder, I have a project one folder, and in there I have a video data folder, which is currently empty but I want it to be synchronized with the folder on the desktop. So again, I can go view, show path bar, and that shows me that at the hard disk or slash under the users folder is a folder called Saul, under the Saul folder is a folder called documents, under the documents folder is a folder called project one, and that's where the video data folder is. There we go. So I'm gonna add that as the folder path. So, folder path is slash, which means here Macintosh hard disk, users slash, oop, slash, saw, slash, documents, slash, project one, slash, video data. You can see it does all the auto complete as well. Okay. Bingo. That's it. These two folders will now stay synchronized. And it does take a while for the 
discovery protocol to find out that there's a new folder to sync, to then synchronize that folder, but you can see it's already happened. But this is also bi-directional. So here I've got another video file, which is on the laptop computer. I can share it with the desktop computer. I'll just show you in the desktop. If you look at the desktop computer, you can see the video data folder only has that one file in it. If I drop that new video file onto the uh, into the video data file folder that, on the laptop, it will again figure out after scanning the folder a few times um, that there's a new file to synchronize and then it will add it to the desktop folder because this is bi-directional sync that we're looking at here. Again, it does take some time and the point of this is not to do up to the minute file synchronization. The point is really to have large video files kept in sync, especially useful, there we go, it's already popped up. Um, this is especially useful when you're working with large collections of video data and where you can't share them, for example, on Dropbox or on some centralized server where there may be uh, data protection issues and other reasons why you just want to have two people sharing data with no intermediaries. So that's it. Um, I hope that's helpful. I think the key uh, advantage of using SyncThing in this way is it allows one person to be quite messy, say have their video data sitting on their desktop, and the other person to be a little bit more organized and have it sitting in a you know nice project folder somewhere, but for these things to allow, but SyncThing allows these two uh, computers to keep in sync anyway. Um, and that's it. Enjoy using SyncThing.